Good afternoon, Whale Coin Talk community. I'm here with the final AMA of today. It's with Baby Ape Coin. I'm joined here by QLux, Travis, Crypto Sniper, uh, G Impaler, <laughs> and the rest of their team. Um, gentlemen, before we start talking about the project, give us a quick background on who you are, um, your time in the crypto space, and how you got to be where you are today. Um, I'll kick it off. Um, so I'm Travis. I'm a website developer and graphic designer. I've been in the crypto space for about three years now. Um, worked with various projects, um, successful ones, some unsuccessful, but um, Baby Ape is now the center of my attention, um, putting all my time and effort into it. And we've got a very solid plan in place to take this as far as it deserves to go. Um, the team behind me are also very experienced and uh, have been in the crypto space for a long time as well. Uh, so I'll pass on to them now. Cool. Yeah, do you want to go crypto sniper or? Uh, you can go through that. Uh, so I'm Kulax. Um from the UK, uh, been in the crypto space for over four years, going five years now. Um, normally do serious projects. <laughs> I, I mean, every project is serious, but um, <laughs> I joined the BSC world like three years ago, you know, been in Baby Doge, big, um, you know, all the major mainstream projects that's gone big. Um, you know, joined up with this team, doing big things, and um, you know, studied at Cambridge uh, University in the UK. Um, entrepreneur, got a couple of businesses, and yeah, do architecture and three D design. But yeah, that's me. Super cool. Yeah. Great. So, um, good. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna introduce myself as well. So, so yeah, I'm. I'm a Finnish guy, so a northerner, and uh, I've been in crypto for I think two years. Got introduced by my friend, and uh, started from investing. And uh, you know, the more deeper you go in the Telegram groups, and that you <clears throat> start to find friends, and uh, being on a few projects, but uh, this one is most the biggest one, and uh, yeah most successful one as well. Great. I love to hear that. And gentlemen, tell me about what you guys are building. Let's talk about the ecosystem and then we can individually break down each component and um, get into the nuts and bolts of things. Um, so the baby ape project obviously started as a spin-off from the ape, ape coin. Um, as you know, from the past in the crypto space has been, you know, baby doge and all these other baby coins. And we were the first, um, baby coin from the ape. So the plan for the project is essentially, you know, we want to build not only just the token, but a brand around it as well. And so we've launched our V1 NFT release, which sold out in under two hours, 456 unique NFTs. Um, and you know, the coin itself with the NFTs as a utility is just the beginning for us. Um, and we're going to be building upon that as we move forward. And as we push the project, you know, we're only 13 days old, so we've got lots of room to grow. And uh, your first NFT launch, what made you choose an, uh, the Genesis number of 456? <laughs> to be honest, uh, we were told it, it's uh, not too big, not too small, a, a decent amount of NFTs. So, you know, we'll, that will get sold out fast, but there's not too many of them. Got it. What was the minting cost? Um, so 0 0.4 BNB, so roughly $166 at the time. And what are they trading at right now? 
Um, so the current floor price, if I just get this up, um, um, is around the same. Um, we've got a few people selling for, you know, less of the value of what they're worth. Um, clearly, people don't understand what they're holding, and that's fine. You know, that's what happens is it happens in this space. Um, but yesterday, the floor was zero point eight, so. You know, some people may just be trying to get rid, um, but a lot of people are holding on because there are so, so more or less holding its value. Yeah, yes, but, that, but there I, is I think, uh, the highest ones were sold for one point five. I think I saw one that was sold for that price. Awesome. Um, and uh, tell me, tell me what kind of one if you have pictures of the NFTs, uh, we'd love to see them. I can share them in the main chat. But also tell me what kind of utility do the NFTs provide with respect to your ecosystem? I think you guys can take this question. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, you guys can take this question. Take it away, Kudos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. In okay. Cool. In terms of utility, currently we um the first utility that we have for the NFTs are currently redistribution back to the holders. So based on the volume in the chart, we've got an NFT wallet, and this wallet fills up. And once it reaches a certain amount, currently sitting at twenty BNB, we then re release it to our holders that hold you know um the NFTs. So if you're holding more NFTs, you make more back in BNB. And it's specifically in BNB so that it doesn't affect the chart. And it's all based on the volumes of buys and sells. So that's currently the first um, utility. Um, there's going to be more utilities coming so that there's more incentives for the people holding the NFTs. Obviously, a lot of it is going to be drip fed out slowly but surely just so that the new people that invest in the NFTs always have something else to look forward to. And, you know, it gives them something always to look forward to like around the corner. Awesome. And I can see here that they were created by Kazura. For our audience members that don't know who that is, could you please give us a brief background and, and tell us how you guys uh, formed, a, formed a partnership? Um, yes, yeah, so Kazura worked on the Catcoin NFTs, obviously Catcoin was a big project, it blew up, it um, quite a high market cap. And um, some of our team uh, worked within that project in the past and had close contact with the artist. So we got him on board, um, formed a partnership. And yeah, he created some really lovely NFTs for us, um, which, you know, as, as the sellout rate shows, um, people love them. So Awesome. And do you guys plan on doing a second NFT launch at any point? Yeah. So the set, the V2 release will carry further utility. And this is what we're keeping a surprise to our holders. And all we can really say on that matter is that we're sort of following the footsteps of the Board Ape Yacht Club. We're going to do something similar. Um, a major benefit to the V2 holders will be a, you know, a club in some sense of you know, where we round up holders of the V2 um, baby ape NFTs. And uh, yeah, I don't want to give too much spoilers, but it's exciting stuff we've got planned um, and it will all fall into place in the uh, coming weeks and months. So we're excited and the community is excited. So we'd like to get more people on board. Got it. And I'm going to assume here that the V1 holders will have some sort of priority in minting uh, the v2 nfts is there a way for current listeners or people that are not already invested in your project to get whitelist spots for the v2 nfts or is that something that you guys haven't decided yet um yeah, they, so they a private sale for the v2 the v1 holders there'll be a private sale for the v1 holders you said yes there will be and on our our current uh, V1, some of our utilities that we have, which work in conjunction together with our coin, which will be promoting the coin's price as well, is um, in the utility that we're creating, it will also add an extra passive income to the holder of the NFTs. Oh, and, and what would that passive income look like? 
what is that going to be distributed in in BNB? Is it in your native token? It'll at the moment it will come out in BNB because uh, okay. they're a very low market cap. So to give it out in the native token is not a very good idea. So Certainly. until the price is higher and much stable, native token. Certainly, and can we talk about Bape? I'm gonna. Is that the right way to pronounce it, Bape? Yeah, yep. yeah, but we baby yep. ape. Bape yeah, so let's let's talk about baby ape, uh, the token, and give us a high level overview of the tokenomics first and foremost. Um, so tokenomics um, broken down into the tax side of things. So we offer reflections on buys and sells. So the transaction taxes are split into 10% on buys and 14% on sells. Um, 1% of each buy transaction is um, distributed in reflections. 6% goes to the liquidity pool. 2% goes to marketing. And 1% goes to our NFT wallet, which we explained before accumulates and gets distributed and then on sell transactions two percent goes to reflections three percent goes to the marketing wallet eight percent goes to the liquidity pool and one percent goes to the nfc wallet as well and we're constantly adjusting these um tokenomic taxes um you know based on community votes and um, we do happy hours within the community to um you know get some hype going can I just add one point in that you missed? On the NFTs, uh, once we start doing merchandise and stuff like that as well, a certain a certain percentage will go to the NFT holders from the sales. Very cool. And you said a portion goes to an NFT wallet. Uh, what is that? Is that just reflections that NFT holders get? Yeah, so that's a percentage of buys and sells that goes. So that used to be our dev wallet, um, which we, since the release of the NFTs, we've now sacrificed that and made that the NFT wallet. So any, uh, so that one percent from buys and sells um, that goes to that NFT wallet builds up and when it gets to twenty BNB. It's distributed amongst all the NFT holders. Got it. Very cool, and. What utility does a token provide with respect to your ecosystem? Token utilities are on the way since we focused on the at, at first for the NFT launch and the utilities for that. But um, the token utilities are the next one on the list. And uh, we've been thinking... I mean are they going to share it now? <laughs> yeah, I think just do it. Just share it. What? So, yeah, okay. Let me continue. So, and uh, there have been thoughts that um, for our future, future merchandise and that uh, we could use some percentage also on buybacks. So, you know, creating a big e ecosystem that would also boost the token price. Okay. Uh, let, um, let me let me let me button. Sorry, the sure. utility the, the 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 utility that's coming that is being kept quiet is there's two right. Um, one that's currently kind of being touched on, and that's obviously you know residual income and one or well it's going to have three streams of residual incomes one is going to be from the chart and its volume number two is going to be from the merchandise sales so when the sales happen and you buy um from our luxury goods and our you know jumpers hoodies track suits um socks pillowcases you know we're going to have a full-on range and it's going to be high-end quality good material from the profits from that a, a certain percentage will then be redistributed to the NFT holders, and then some will go back to the project to develop the, the project, which should then impact onto the chart. Now, the final um, utility that has been kept quiet, but you know, I think it's time to now say it is 
we are planning to build a safari inside of South Africa. Now, wow. this, yeah, and this safari is going to obviously be run run 24 um, 7 obviously throughout the year and obviously you're going to have to purchase it with tickets to get in and whatnot and there's going to be a portion of the safari that's solely dedicated to apes and like chimps and monkeys to breed them and keep them up so you can have a one-on-one -on -one experience with them obviously these tickets that um, the sales that come from that would then a portion of those profits would then go back to the NFT holders once again. Now, that those will be the free streams of um, residual income that you will be getting just from holding the NFTs. Now, on top of that, we're trying to build an ecosystem where the chart feeds the NFTs, the NFT feeds the chart, and all of that feeds the people. And also we have a opportunity to give back to people. So, so yeah, I mean, those, those are like the main utilities and there are more utilities coming. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about a couple other things that we're working on further on in the, in the AMA. Certainly. And wow, that's, that's so cool. I haven't heard of any sort of partnership like that before. What are you talking to a specific company out in South Africa? Um, can you share any so, details um, about that partnership? Yeah, I'm based there. You're based. You're based in South Africa. Which part? Yeah, I'm in Johannesburg. Awesome. Yeah. So we we're trying to move away from the whole. You know, everything's going metaverse at the moment, and we want to focus more on real life and real life problems. And you know, this I think is something very different that no one else is doing. And so we're eager to push this. And this ties in with obviously the project very well, being around apes, um, animals, safari, etc. Yeah, I think it's so cool and it's such a interesting and unique utility. I haven't heard of anything like this before. Um, it relates really well to what you guys are building. Um, can you tell me a bit more about your marketing campaign? I did hear that a good portion of these um, of these token burns go into marketing. What are some of the more lucrative marketing strategies that you guys are using to get your name out there and create exposure for your project? So we started off with small call channels in the beginning, just to, you know, gather up the smaller investors in to start pushing the price up and, and, you know, smaller investors talk to their friends as well and getting the word out like that. And as we were going, we went on to bigger callers. And now our next step would be going for YouTube callers, YouTube channel. Okay, right on. And what yeah. do, are, are you guys partnered with any big YouTubers? No, at the moment, we're not. Got it. And what would yeah. you guys say to kind of spe skeptics that argue about there being way too many meme tokens right now. How would you get? How would you guys say you stand out? I mean, the the Safari partnership is huge, but what are some yeah. other ways you'd say your your project stands out from the all the other ones out there right now? Uh, can I, can I answer that? Yeah. Or do you want, do you want to talk crypto? No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. One in the way, one of the ways that I think we clearly stand out is even if we take this as a point of reference first i mean this is just where i'm gonna start um obviously i'm not gonna go indulge deep into this but we all obviously know doge and we're also all familiar with baby doge now we are almost the equivalent of that obviously our market cap not might say that right now but i guarantee you from my all-time high we're just just oh Sorry, did you lose you lost me? Yeah. We're just yeah, we lost you for a second there. Yeah. No, 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 I'm back now. So currently Ape is sitting at a five billion or three point something billion market cap. Now we are nowhere near We we're nowhere near the market cap we need to be on right now. And um we have a lot of potential growth. One of the key ways in which we're adding value to our token is we're going to get in, we're, we're currently in contact and like in beginning early stage talks with ApeCoin. 
Now, ApeCoin has a land sale currently going on right now that's going to be used in their metaverse. We are trying to piggy bank this and establish a partnership with them and be the baby version, the official baby version of their coin, where with certain purchases within their metaverse, you could actually potentially use the baby ape coin. So we are also helping another ecosystem. And it's not just any ecosystem, it's ape coin, you know, it's big, um, board ape yacht club, you know, so it's not, it's not just anybody. So we're in talks of, we're early, early, early stages. So it's like, you know, it's still, nothing is concrete, but it's very promising the conversations we're about to have. So, you know, it, we have utility. I mean, you've already spoke about the safari. Um, you know, we've got that, and you know, it, there's a, there's a lot more things to come. So yeah, got it. And how did this? How did the talks with ApeCoin begin? I mean, who, who made the connection there? Uh, originally, we all started raiding. You know, <laughs> as everybody <laughs> does, and um, you know. A couple of people started, you know, seeing us, you know, Crypto Messiah currently holds our NFTs. I think Travelad holds our NFTs. And, um, you know, uh, no, it, was, it was just the one that we had made for Crypto Messiah. Ah, OK, so we made one yeah. for Crypto Messiah. So, you know, we're also gifting, you know, our NFTs to them. But it's actually me that's like reaching out to some of these people and talking to them individually. Um, you know, just a back and forth communication, contact, emails, you know, you know, sounding professional and all of that. So there is, like I said, it's early, so nothing is concrete, but, you know, we're just trying our best <laughs> as of now. But, you know, they seem like the conversation is still continuing, right? So they've not lost interest. Got it, got it. So I wanted to move on and ask about staking and whether or not you all were planning on offering staking of your token. Um, do you know what? We've decided against it for the time being, just because, you know, we are, that's such a, a common thing in this space. You know, every, every token you sort of look at now is, you know, staking here, staking there. And we are trying to be different. We're trying to stand out. We're trying to offer things that other projects aren't. And so if we were to offer staking, we'd be no different to any other project in this space. And that doesn't make us stand out in the crowd. Yeah, that's that's fair. And there, there's certainly there's no reason to have staking, especially when you all are having reflections at the same time. Um, and one more question about the reflections. I know that BNB is the token that those are received in, but is there a possibility to receive them in BUSD, for example? Pardon, can you just rephrase that question? Certainly, know. yeah. So uh, I understand that reflections are paid out in BNB, and I'm curious to know that it, whether yeah, users could choose BUSD or some other asset. Are you talking about reflections for the, on, on the coin side? Correct. No, they're paid out in native token. Okay, so in the beginning, I was... I was told that they weren't paid out in native token because you didn't want the price to the that's price to the get. That's on the NFT side. So we didn't want too many things paying out in the native token. Got it. So the NFT side pays out in BNB and the mm -hmm. um the baby ape coin pays out in baby ape. Exactly. We didn't want too much paying out in baby ape to just add a lot of uh, selling pressure because you know reflections are basically free money from what you've invested in. So a lot of people do want to sell that as soon as they get it. Certainly. And g give me a quick breakdown of your team. How many people do you have working as developers and marketing and business development, all that good stuff? We are five of us currently. Five of you. Are you guys doxxed? Uh, one of us is. Is the, pro is the project audited? No, not yet. It's still a fair, we're very new still at the current moment. Uh, we didn't think it was very really necessary and yeah, funds wise as well. Got it. Any plans to get audited in the near future? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. That's it. Any, great. Any multi-chain aspirations, plans to move it to other chains? 
on probably maybe later on to bridge towards the ethereum network and uh, now we're seeing chronos is uh, taking is is actually picking up a lot so we would obviously look there as well yeah it's gotten quite popular over there in chronos um yeah. i curious to know if you guys have any uh philanthropic aspirations i know that a lot of these um, meme projects are starting to um talk about how they want to partner with certain causes and, and donate to certain causes. I'm curious to know if something, uh, something drives you. Well, we have spoken about uh, g g doing some donations towards um, like apes and stuff like that. More awesome. on animal. Yeah. More, on more, animal more what? More on animal conservation. Got it. Yeah. But, and but, before but to, sorry to sure. add to that point. Sure. Once we do have our safari, you know, and our ape center, we will be, obviously, we can actually do our own charity within our own ecosystem and give back and help, you know, we almost make a charity within ourselves, you know, and probably have an off-brand or like part of our ecosystem where we call it baby ape charity or something like that, where, you know, we give back to ourselves, not ourselves as a community, but ourselves as the the charity side of things, you know, and we're, that's where we help out. Got it, got it. And are you guys planning on building a launch pad? Uh, I don't uh, think so no. right now, because um, in my own, my own, own opinion, it's like a, a launch pad builder stray people away from our own token so we will concentrate on that you know understood and before i start getting the community questions i'm curious to know if there's anything i haven't asked you guys that you want to talk about i tried to cover most of my questions and um go through your white paper and roadmap um, is there anything you wanted to touch on that i haven't inquired about yet um in regards to the roadmap we are spending this week um, discussing the future plans. We're going to be updating the roadmap on the website with the next steps for the project um, to keep people in touch of what's coming. Um, likewise, with the white paper, we're going to be um, releasing a V2 white paper, um, just outlining all these upcoming utilities um, and the things that are coming in the near future for the project. Sweet. Um, I had one of my community members type out questions to me. He's not feeling that well, so he wanted me to read them out. Um, his, yeah, his first question is, on your website, I've read about the 456 unique Baby Ape Stroller Club NFTs. I want to know, are these different from the BBAYC NFTs mentioned on your white paper? Yeah, I think I think they're the same thing. I'm just um, I'm just reading this yeah, word for they're, word. They're the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, like I said, the white paper is in the process of being redesigned and updated um, to match what we've got produced currently in regards to NFTs. Um, so yeah, in response to this question, they are the same thing. Got it. And are you planning on releasing NFTs with different rarities? That's another one question he had. Uh, yeah, so V2 release will be um, different to the V1, obviously, uh, and there will be um, further in development into the rarities and, you know, the value based around the rarities of the NFTs in the V2. Awesome. Those were his questions, and I see a hand up. It's Ali Asghar. Um So, Ali, go for it, man. Our current V1 uh, do have some rarities. I will send you the chart a bit later on and you can probably pin it in your channel but the other way of doing it is if you if you look on the nfts on the on the right hand side of it each trait has a certain percentage so if you average out the total amount of the total percentage you've got and the lower it is the more rare those traits are found in in the entire collection awesome yeah, so we do have a chart um, on on the different types. Of what's what's more rare than than what exactly? You know, like um, the the bucket hat and this the colors of uh, the t shirts and stuff like that. Understood. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you for clarifying. And um, Ali, we're still in the process of uh, coming out with a graph of uh, for it. 
Yeah, and any any documentation you guys have that you would like shared in the main chat, go ahead and um, shoot it over to me or share it in the AMA group you're in with Will Quinn Talk, and then we can forward it to the main chat. Um, Ali Askar, you had a question. You need to unmute your mic, sir. Okay, so I don't think his mic is working. So, uh, gentlemen, I'm curious to know what... What crypto projects have you worked on in the past? But more, more specifically, um, what painful learning lessons have you taken from projects in this space that you worked on in the past and are applying it currently to Baby ApeCoin to make sure that it goes as smoothly and as successfully as possible? So we haven't worked on any previous projects before, but the current team, we've all been involved in a certain project um, about five months ago, and we were rug pulled there. Then we came out from there and we made like a, just a small private group with a couple of us, you know, because we all came out from the Diamond Hand group and we just made our own thing. And then we were going into all other different projects and in the end, every single one of them was just getting rug pulled. And we kind of seen the, prop, the you know, the, the mistakes they were making and stuff like that. And it turns out the um, majority of the mistakes that we've seen is the developers, not not the investors. They the ones who normally dump on 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 the investors or they're doing something wrong. Got it. We've all been scammed uh, or rugged at some we've point. We've all been scammed and rugged and yeah, we are trying to do something different this time. Knowing that we, we've been through these kind of things, so we know what it feels like as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And gentlemen, community is such a huge pillar when it comes to building a successful crypto project, and it's even more important when building a, a, a meme token. I'm curious to know what you guys think is special about your community. Uh, how big is your community? And yeah, just... Give, give us a bit of a rundown on uh, who they are and, and how they got to be invested in your project. I mean, so, since day one, the community has been nonstop, ridiculously hyped, and it's amazing to see. I mean, I was personally an early investor in uh, both Safe Moon and Baby Doge, and the vibes I've been getting from the community since day one have not only matched that, but probably beaten that by a mile. So... I'm excited um, for the future of this project, um, merely just based off of the way the community is and the way, you know, the way they contribute to the shilling and the raids and, you know, the activity and the Telegram channel. We've got a community of around 4,000 4, users on Telegram. Um, Twitter is sitting at a nice amount. Um, so we're growing our social channels, um, which is obviously important in, you know, increasing that community interaction. Uh, Travis is always uh, saying we should do a shilling contest, a shilling contest. I'm like, bro, these the guys are just shilling constantly themselves. What are you talking about? <laughs> and that's the amazing thing. It's amazing to see, you know, people are, we, you know, we had um, some merchandises over shore, you know, make some clothing for us using our logo without even being asked. And this is the sort of thing we love to see, you know, the community off their own backs are doing these things. And that shows true power within the community and the fact that they believe in the project and they believe in the long-term vision that we have as a team i mean i've even seen like when we were when we were on some youtube channels just uh listening there were some of our community members that were doing that uh paid i, I don't know exactly what the word is but where you pay and your comment stays there where everyone can see it and nothing nothing shadow bans it they were doing mm. that out of their own pocket. yeah very cool very cool guys um i see another hand up by the way it's uh it's give me a lamb give me the lambo give me the lambo go for it man and guys when you raise your hands uh, i can unmute you but then you need to unmute yourselves otherwise no one's going to be able to hear you talk all right well that's another quiet community member um so i'm curious to know where you all see yourselves a year from now you know if you could envision where baby ape coin would be um what kind of services would it, it would provide its ecosystem and give, give me a bit of a rundown on that the time frame you gave was uh, how long a year from now 
a year March from of, now. March of 2023. We'd be hoping to be at least over, over, let's say, 600 million market cap. That, that's, that will be, yeah, we'd hope to be at least over there. Awesome. Um, what, one sec, can I say, can I say something? <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Not just market cap. I mean, I, I don't even think 600 million is, is fair. I think we'll probably be hitting at least 2 billion market cap, let's say 1 billion. And if you think that's overachieving, you know, I, I, I could like, you know, kind of back this up. A lot of people in our community, you know, you're talking about community, they know what all the other babies have done that have been successful. Baby Doge, Baby Inu, ba- baby, baby Shiba Inu, Baby Cake, you know, and everybody has said, I sold early. A lot of people said, I sold early. I did this, I did that. You know, they want to have their own testimonial and they fully believe with full conviction that this is the next big thing. And our NFT project alone sold about, I think we made 70K from that. Now, the safari, in order to build a safari in South Africa, it is not that expensive. You're looking maybe double that potentially. I think Crypto Sniper, is that correct? Or how much? Yeah, something like that. So basically, how, how the safari thing works is you're not really building. Um, everything from scratch so how it is is you rent you get out a lease from 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 a, from a national park already they, you, they just give you a small certain area and you can build build on there and you own that lease for for example i think it's like about uh, if i'm not mistaken it's 100 years and you can keep renewing that lease every year every every yeah, hundred years exactly so the cost of that is not actually that expensive so the funds that we would get from our second nft launch can already potentially pay a good amount of that safari. And this NFT launch was not going to be done next year. This was going to be done within the next probably six in, in six months time, potentially, or there's there's no actual real time frame for it. It's when it's when it's time is time. It depends on how the community is so how far exactly. the community is going. Exactly. Yeah. And if there's demand for it and, and whatnot. So Th- this safari could also be in construction, if not already in the stage of the first month of up and running by next year. So a lot can be done. You know, merchandise store will be there. We're potentially even once the merchant. So this is not just merchandise as in the cliche, you know, the standard merchandise. You just slap your logo on it. We're actually potentially looking to go towards proper, good designed clothing and we would potentially um, look to do fashion shows because I'm based in London. We potentially might do London fashion show and get a couple models and be part of the London fashion show if the market cap and the community seems fit for that. So we're literally building a brand and an ecosystem. So, you know, a lot of people ex- is excited and you know, I'm excited, you know, talking about it. <laughs> so if you're not an investor, I think you should turn into one, you know, so and sell your profits along the way. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it sounds quite exciting. And uh I wanted to also ask and see if you have any major partnerships that you can tell us about. I mean, you already mentioned um the Safari and the the talks with Ape Coin, but I'm curious to know what other major partnerships you have that that are currently strategic and allowing you to grow and, and further your ecosystem? At the moment, we haven't got any, but we are, we are looking into that. You know, we're looking we, at we only, out to you, uh, we're only two weeks old. Got it. Okay, very cool. I think we're very early for looking at big, big partnerships. Well, Amazing. Like I said, you know, if the community just doubles tomorrow, you can then we can just double so we can see out up our our speed got it yeah and, and also a little thing i want to add to that is we want to sort ourselves out first right we want to have a strong foundation and without a strong foundation there's not much point getting a lot of partnerships in terms of people to piggy bank us there we want to be the people that people actually was like you know, have you heard of Baby Ape Coin? We want a partnership up with you. You know, so like they said, we're early stages, but we're building our own foundation right now. So yeah, absolutely. Um, and I see a community hand up track. 
Track, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, Track, sorry, man. Your mic is your mic is no bueno. I can't really hear you. Got Flipper. Flipper, go for it, man. Hey, no, how you doing? What's going on, brother? I'm good. I'm just listening, and um, it seems like, you know, you have an established community. Um, what is your outside thoughts in terms of making partnerships or people you may know that maybe would be interested in getting an NFT? I'm just wondering, like, what are your immediate thoughts when you think about it? And uh, just, like, the whole thing with Baby ApeCoin. Yeah, so I think that... You know, I, I think that meme coins at first were, for lack of a better term, a meme, and they weren't taken as seriously. But but I think with time over the last year, we've seen that if you are not just driving it with the community, but also driving it with real function, real utility, whether that's making a play to earn game, whether that's building a metaverse, whether that's giving your NFT holders dividends, whether that's, you know, offering them access to a safari, um, offering them access to sporting events. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with NFTs and there's so much real world utility that you can provide that I think we've reached a point as a crypto community where we can get very excited about them. And so as far as um, what I'm looking what for I'm, when, when, when I talk to an NFT project, project and, it, and it, if, sorry, if you, uh, whoever's mic is uh, on the feedback is really bad, but um. I want to see some of those things. I want to see some real world utility or some utility that adds value. And the value doesn't necessarily need to be monetary value, although it's always nice, uh, but it needs to be something that gets people excited. So, uh, I mean, whale coin talk is always looking to um, uh, create and establish new strategic partnerships. It would be something that we would need to discuss internally and then also discuss with you guys. Um, but it's something that we're always open to discussing, or excuse me, <laughs> uh, talking about with amongst each other. So I, I hope that answers your question in, in regard to how I feel about these sorts of projects. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I just wanted to hear your mindset and your just what you thought about the project. And it seems like you've taken a few of the things and you see like the potential in that. So that's cool. That's great. I just wanted to hear your, your mind, your mind on yeah. that. Thanks. Yeah, Flipper. Thanks, man. I appreciate the question. Yeah, th thank you for that. Uh, I mean, give it gives us uh, also a bit of mind too. Yeah, no, it, certainly. I even myself, you know, last year this time I was just not taking meme coin seriously. I thought it was a bit ridiculous that these projects were pumping. I don't know, like fifty to one hundred x. But I'm starting to see more and more how. Um, these community driven projects, especially when they're, like I said, providing real world utility, providing the holders with um, access to events or access to experiences that are interested or, or excuse me, excuse me, that they're interested in uh, can uh, generate quite a bit of value um, and quite a bit of long term value. So um, I think as long as you guys are building something that that aligns with this school of thought, um, then you could be quite successful. Uh, in the space, but we're we're kind of closing in towards the end of the AMA. I I see some hands up, guys. I, I I'm gonna call on people, but make sure that your mics work. Um, make sure that you unmute yourselves because I want to be respectful to our, to our guests and and not just have um uh, blank blank sound. But next up, we got the pulse. The pulse, go go for it, man. Ask your question. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for the. For for the opportunity. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Uh, my, my question is uh, specifically to the uh, community and to the team behind the, the project, this project. You know that in, in every uh, good project, there is this uh, strong community backing up the project. And two, there is uh, uh, an experienced team leading the project. So I want to know how experienced is the, is the team? How experienced is the team and the community? Are they very committed to the Are they very committed? Because the uh, community uh, a, a, is one of the backbone of every project. So how committed are they to the project and to the team? How experienced are they to face all the ups and downs in, in this crypto world to, to, to give them what they really uh, 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 are wishing for for the project. 
Okay, I can Great. answer you. I can answer you there, Deepos. When it comes to showing commitment, I'm pretty sure if you ask any of the community members, the, any time they come into the chat, they've seen me the day and night. I think since the time we've launched, I sleep about uh, maybe three hours a day, and that's yeah, majority of the team members as well. Yeah. So I think in, until the the, until the project is like self-sufficient and can run to a point where it doesn't need uh, constant nurturing, and that that's I think that's when we can probably you know like just slow down. But at the moment, we there for the community, answering all their questions, doing everything that we can do to to just keep us all together. And the team is, you know, the team have made real life sacrifices for this project, and we've been happy to do so because you know it's been amazing to see the community support in the last two weeks, um, and that not only pushes us and drives us to work harder, but also, you know, it's just it's an amazing thing to see you know, the team and the community coming together because there is no project without community and there is no community without a team. And so the two work hand in hand really well together. And so, yeah, we've built something really special here and I'm excited for the future of the project. The team's very experienced. Um, I'm a very experienced website developer. We've got an experienced developer on the team. We've got an experienced marketing um, side of things. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot in the works. Um, the community community is excited i'm excited and the rest of the team is excited as well so yeah, yeah if you haven't got a bag um not financial advice but i'd uh, advise you on making a decision on getting one <laughs> from my side he was asking like what kind of experience so the kind of experience i have if you in real life is i'm a business owner myself where i have a brand where no one has touched it for no one can compete with me in the last 10 years my price on my brand is about $5 more expensive than anyone else. And living in a third world country, you know, that, that $5 more expensive can, can get you five, five, five meals a week. And I'll still manage to uphold that. So, and uh, business in the end, we plan on running this, this token as a business, not just um, a thing for like side money and stuff like that. And the normal, you know, business is the same, no matter what, no matter what it is, it's all about supply and demand in the end. So as long Agreed. as you can, yeah, business is the same, no matter what field you're in, whether it's cryptocurrency, whether you're a doctor or a dentist or whatever, it's all the same, the mm -hmm. principle behind it. Yeah, certainly. Let's go with the next question from Robert Ramirez. Robert, okay, take it away. Just real quick, hey guys, real quick. Um, in regards to the NFT reflections, um, if I did the math correctly, it kind of averages to $17 every time um, if the wallet gets maxed out and kind of pushes out the reflections. Is that right? Yeah, um, not exactly, because uh, you must just remember the BNB value also variates up and down with the market. And uh, in, yeah, and uh, and also our token reflections uh, that that one percent that goes to the NFTs also varies on volume again. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty, gentlemen, we are at the end of the AMA. But before you go, uh, for our listeners that maybe came in late or or just tuning in. Would you please give us a quick summary of who you are, what you're building, and why people should invest in your project? Um, bottom line, you know, we are a very welcoming community. We, you know, we've got a nice crowd here at the moment. Um, uh, always looking to bring people in. The project hit an all-time high. Um, early sellers are out. Um, early investors are out so sorry um and we're now in our reversal stage which is amazing um and so yeah i think you know with the whole baby meme type thing with past projects like baby doge and baby cake i think now is a perfect opportunity for a lot of people to make some nice money um investing in our project I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving financial advice, but I'm just saying, you know, do your own research. If you have any further questions, we're always in the VC in our own uh, Telegram channel. And we're happy to answer. Awesome. 
Well, thank you again for being with us today, gentlemen. I had a good time hosting you and would love to see what happens with your project in the future, especially with these um, safaris. Anytime you want to come back and do another AMA with Whale Coin Talk, I'm happy to host you. See, amazing. Thank you for, for listening. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh,